Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up my crouch system that I made. So, um, we have this wall here, and if we go up to it, we can't go through it because we're too tall. But if we click C, you can see we drop down and now we are able to go under it. And if we go into first person, you can see that when we press C, the camera also drops down in the first person view. So you can actually see that, you know, you're going through it. Um, this is already, I already made the script for you guys. And this, this could be very useful in the door series we're working on right now. But if you don't want to use it in that, you could just use it for whatever you would like, whatever game you're making. So uh, the link to the model will be in the description. It will uh, link you to this thing called Crouch Script. Inside of this Crouch Script is a Crouch Animation. This is the animation you want to play. So if you have your own custom Crouch Animation, put it in right here. Um, then inside the Crouch Script, I'm going to show you guys how to edit some stuff. So let's say you wanted to make like this like you saw how like the camera right went down let's say you wanted to make it like slower or something right you would change this value right here so in camera info the first value right here 0 0.70 0 0.75 you would change that and now if we click play and we go into studio you can see um, it goes down slower it actually looks a lot smoother but uh yeah that's how to change the uh time that it takes for the camera to go down let's say you want it to change how far the camera goes down you would tweak this value right here so it sets a negative 1.75 if you wanted to make it go lower to the ground you would make this you know negative like two three four you would make it like that you would go into the more negatives uh i would just leave uncrouch goal because this is the default roblox like camera so i would leave that i wouldn't mess with that um i wouldn't mess with any of this stuff if you guys want to change the walk speed of the crouch so let's say you wanted to make it slower than eight or faster than eight you would just change it right here right here let's say you want it to be and if your default speed is faster than 16 you would change it right here so you could set it back to the default speed if you want to change what key gets pressed to, to uh crouch right here game colon get service user input service input begin colon connect function input you want to set the input key code right here instead of c you could set it to like left uh control left control like that and then that would be the left control key let's say you want to make like control to crouch you would do that c you have every single button here you have s a whatever you want you can make uh whatever you whatever button you want to make crouch you can make it so that is pretty much all of the stuff in here. Uh, again, like I wouldn't tweak, don't tweak any of this stuff. The only thing, the only values I would tweak is this, the first value in camera info, this value in crouch goal, meaning how far the camera will go down, and then the walk speed and then the um, key that you need to press. Uh, and then, like I said, if you want to change the animation, like the crouch animation, you want to go ahead and go to this crouch animation underneath the crouch script and change the animation id in it to whatever your animation is so that is how you set up a easy and simple crouch system for your game like i said this will tie into our doors uh series so in the next doors episode when we are working on seek this will come in handy but uh that's all for today's video if you guys enjoyed please like you know subscribe all that good stuff i just made a discord server so link to that will be in the description if you want to check that out um i'll be on there regularly answering your guys's you know questions concerns whatever if you guys have any suggestions for a future video leave those in the comments below and yep that's it for today's video and as always i will see you guys in the next one